You know what's awesome? Punk rock. The entire goddamn genre. Honestly, that whole section of music is pretty killer. If you would ask me what type of music I'd have to be subjected to for the rest of my life, and if I had a choice, I'd probably say classical. But punk rock is the closest second you could ever put on a list ever. Unfortunately, when you ask most people to name a relevant punk rock band from the last 10 years, or hell, any punk band from the last 10 years, they pretty much give you a collective, what? Well, I'm going to try and rectify that situation by talking about a band called Bomb the Music Industry. Bomb the Music Industry are an amazing punk band that just released an amazing album last February. Okay, so that was a while ago, but screw you, it's a killer album and it should be topping everyone's best of 09 lists. First, let me start off by talking about this band. Bomb the Music Industry come from New York and out of the head of Jeff Rosenstock. Most of the albums have a huge list of contributors, but Mr. Rosenstock's been known for touring with nothing but his guitar and an iPod hooked up to the speakers. From what I hear, it's pretty great, but let's get on to the album. Scrambles, on the whole, is a great mix of ska, punk rock, synthesizers, humor, honesty, and high fives. The synthesizers do come out of nowhere, though, and I'll be honest with you, every time I hear the third track blast those almost Looney Tune keyboards and bells, I crack up. I mean, listen to this. Here's something worth noting, the piano on this album gives the song its fresh attitude, young body, and 25 this real triumphant feeling, which brings me to the lyrics, because in particular, the tracks I just mentioned give me goosebumps. For fresh attitude, young body, it's that line right at the climax of the song, when Mr. Rosenthal is just belting it. You're alone and you're wet in a hospital bed, and your family and your friends will inherit your debt as you breathe from machines. Yeah, I know it sounds mean, but you're probably gonna die alone. Jesus, I mean, listen to that. That's a bummer, to put it lightly. But it's done so well, with the piano just pushing it over the top and every emotion running on its last leg. That's music, man! Same with 25. That song deals with growing older and just not being satisfied with where you're at. The line, I'm 25 and I still act like I'm 10, I don't learn from my mistakes, I make them again and again and again and again, within the context of the song is just brutal. Don't get me wrong though, they're not all emotional bum outs. In fact, there's a ton of humor on the album. Shut Up the Punks and Gang of Four Meets the Stooges, but boring, are hilarious at times, and the horn section on Shut Up the Punks is great. I love this band, and I love this record. It's an amazing experience that you should listen to all the way through. In fact, go download it. The whole thing's free. Yeah, that's right. The sucker's free. Bomb the Music Industry is on quote-unquote records, a donations-based label that gives out all their music for free. Go get it right now. Close this video, click on that link in the sidebar, and download Scrambles, the newest album by Bomb the Music Industry. And give them money if you think it's any good. They deserve it. I'm Daniel Spear. Thanks for listening.